your hands will not be empty let me speak favor upon your life this mystery that has helped men to become has helped men to gain acceleration in life let this grace called favor rest on you let it rest upon you upon your ministry upon your organization upon your family i forbid you from begging i forbid you from borrowing i forbid you from begging i forbid you from borrowing in the name of jesus that many decades after now with christ tarries you will still be standing you will not be a negative lesson for others to learn from my god will preserve you in the name of jesus you will see signs and wonders in your life now listen to this one and receive it with all your heart can i tell you if you do not rise to a position of influence you will never be able to do much for the kingdom don't, don't mind ignorant people you need influence as a vital tool for kingdom advance the bible says neither do men light a lamp there are many people who have a lot of value but their influence is small the bible says and it was noise abroad that jesus was in town i pray for you by the help of god we have received i decree and declare that hear ye him anointing let it rest on you from this day i release it from the depth of my spirit that hear ye him anointing receive it in the name of jesus god will raise men who will herald your value God will raise men who will herald your value in the name of Jesus. The Bible says for your shame, you shall receive double. It's called honor. It's not just restoration. Listen, I have taught you what honor is. Honor is the grace that makes people perceive your value accurately and then reward that value to match your sacrifice. If you do not have honor, you will always be serving the wrong audience. They will not have a recognition for what you carry, nor an appreciation for it. I pray for you. You will not serve the wrong audience. You will not serve the wrong audience. God will position men who can discern and reward your sacrifice in the spirit.